Hello, good morning, and welcome to another live Brookfield assembly with Emily morning. and. It's me, James! We've Hello! Got James. Are you all ready to do our hello song? Where'd you be coming up on the screen? <laughs> right, stop those feet! Come on, those hands!
Okay, so thank you for all the pictures. I hope that you like them and please keep sending them in. Last time we had the tree of resilience in an assembly, we were talking about an animal. I would like you to write in the comments, see if you can remember which animal we were talking about. I'm going to have a look. What do we think? What do we think? What's coming up? Monkey. Oh, was it a monkey? Or a chicken? Or a fish in the tree? What have we got? Oh, we're still waiting on the I comments. Think I think they're going to appear in a minute. A rabbit in the tree? Rabbit in a tree? Yeah. It climbed all the way to the top. I think a snake down here <laughs> in the roots. Could well be. What do we think, guys? Oh, we've got the right answer in the comments. You are right, it was a hummingbird. A hummingbird? Okay, so we had a hummingbird that goes away to stay safe and then comes back when it's ready and safe to come back. A hummingbird? Today, we've got a different animal for you that also lives in a tree. Here is a video of your clues. This animal has four legs. It's really hot where this animal lives. It lives in Australia. This animal is fluffy and grey. Oh, this animal sleeps for most of the day. This animal likes eating leaves. Okay, so there were your four clues. So this animal is fluffy and grey. It has four legs. It lives in Australia. It sleeps for most of the day and it eats eucalyptus leaves. Hmm, what could this animal be? Write your guesses in the comments. Someone said parrot. Oh, it's not a parrot. Good guess though. We've got a guess for a sloth. Oh, a sloth. It's not a sloth, but that's a really good guess. Well done. But the correct guess comes from Holly. Oh, Holly has said... Koala. Koala, you're right. We're talking about a koala bear. I'm now going to show you the story of the koala who could. The Koala Who Could by Rachel Bright and Jim Field. In a wonderful place at the breaking of dawn, where the breezes were soft, and the sunshine was warm. A place where the creatures ran wild and played free. A koala called Kevin clung to a tree. A nicer grey fellow you never would meet. As soft as a soft thing from ear tufts to feet. His favourite way to relax in the sun was to cling and to nap and to munch a leaf bun. He was terribly good at all three things. Yes, Kevin was king of the staying still kings. You see, high up was safe and he liked a slow pace while the ground down below seemed a frightening place. Too fast and too loud and too big and too strange. Nope, Kevin preferred not to move nor change. 
So he clung to his tree as he knew how to do and was never too keen to try anything new. So when Wombat stopped by and shouted one day, Hey Kevin, why don't you come down here and play? Mm, I think he replied, I should stay on my plants. I'm busy right now. I'm sorry, I can't. Why not? cried the ruse, who liked the idea. Yes, why? called the dingoes. You've nothing to fear. But Kevin, who wasn't the do things quick sort, said, I'm clinging to do, but thanks for the thought. As Kevin sat watching them chatter and share, a part of him wished he could join them down there. But he knew he'd miss home in the dark and the late. The whole thing was risky. The adventure could wait. Whatever the invite, he'd always say no. Oh dear, it seemed Kevin just couldn't let go. So his life was the same, no matter the day. The weeks came and went and the months rolled away and Kevin stayed still while the world moved around until he awoke to a worrying sound. Tap, 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 the sound went. Well, this was a blow. Tap, tap, timidly tap, 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 oh no! Uncling, the crowd called that had gathered below. Leap and we'll catch you, just let yourself go. But Kevin was scared. Let go? No, I shan't. I won't, clung on Kevin. Oh dear, I just can't. Woof, down came the tree with a crackling and a pinging and a crash and a wallop and with Kevin still clinging. Kevin, he carefully opened one eye and looked up at the love staring down from the sky. Then one claw by one claw, he slowly unclung. He felt springy and light and happy and young. The worst he could think of had now come to pass and he was just fine. Why he felt quite first class. So when Wombat held out the most welcoming paw, Kevin, he didn't hold back anymore. When Dingo asked, now will you come out and play? The crowd all joined in with, what do you say? And even though this wasn't part of his plan, Kevin replied, yes, I think that I can. And Kevin from then on was always can do. Because life can be great when you try something new. Okay, so that is our story of the koala bear who could. Now we're going to play a game. So in our story, it said that Kevin the koala was the king of the staying still kings. I want to know if you can be the king of the staying still kings. So we are going to play musical statues. So when the music plays, I want you to be dancing around your living rooms at home. And when it stops, you need to freeze. Do you think we need to do a warm up first? That's a good idea. Right. Uh, hands up. Hands down. Spin around. Spin around the other way. Emily, lie down on the floor. She will do anything I tell her to. Stand up. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Right, good. I'm ready now too. Freak! She's moving, she's moving. I'm not. <laughs> I'm the kid! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's out! He's out! 
Whoops. Right, one more go. <laughs> Breathe. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, very well done. I hope you have butt. fun at home and you're feeling hot as well. <laughs> we are. Right. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to play a music game. So in our story, when Kevin was up the tree, below him, there was lots of noise. There was a stampede. So I want you at home to make the noise of the stampede. So when my hand goes up, I want you to get louder at home. When my hand goes down, I want you to get quieter. So you might want to clap, you might want to bash your legs, you might want to stamp your feet. But when my hand goes up, get louder. When my hand goes down, get quieter. Ready, James? Um, oh wait, I'm not ready. I need something that is going to make a lot of noise. There we go. Have you got something that's going to make some noise at home? Ready, one, two, three. to do. It's going to be a competition between me and James. So we have created... Shall I let her win this time because I was the king at musical uh, statues? I was the king at musical statues. I, no, no, I was the winner. Not correct. I was the king. <laughs> All right, I'll be better at the crowd. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so we have made a koala bear. So this is our example. So this is what James and I are going to try and make. We've got all the stuff ready, and we're gonna make a koala, and then we're gonna show you how you can do it at home. So we've got some big newspaper circles, some little newspaper circles, some semi-circles from newspaper, 
some oval noses. I don't know if we're going on that side. There you go. Oval noses. Some glue. Some pens for the eyes. And some cardboard to put them on. Nice. Right, I'm definitely going to do this better than you. We'll see. I am shall definitely we? doing this better than you. Right, are you ready? Steady, go! Okay. I think I need a big circle of newspaper for the face. I've got a semicircle for the shoulders that I'm going to put on first. Hopefully loads of people should have newspaper at home anyway. Yeah. Because they keep being delivered yeah. through your doors. You should be able to make a koala bear at home as well. At There's my point. koala's face. Right, I've put my koala's shoulders on. Maybe my koala should have noses for ears instead. Like this. I'm going to use the black bits that Emily's going to use for a nose for my ears. All right then, you make a funny looking koala. Because you can never have too many noses. Can you not? Everyone thinks one nose is enough. You can smell everything you need to with one nose. But if you had two noses, you surely that's more. better. Even you just more. smell a lot more. You just smell a lot more, yeah. I mean, you it depends who you were stood next to. Smelling, yeah, it smelled nice. If you were stood next to a smelly person, two noses is probably not the right thing. But, I mean, deodorant is great. <laughs> Let's try a smaller circle. What should I put that Where for? Where should you put that? Um, in fact, small circle, I'm just going to scratch it up. Oh! Why not? Why, why not, not try something different? I'm making a very boring, normal koala of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use a semicircle oh. for the koala's wings. Because my koala is a flying koala. <laughs> Do koalas have wings? Write in the comments. Tell me I'm wrong. Yeah. Or tell me you agree with me and we should make koalas with wings. See because if you can find a koala with wings. Them. I'm adding a tree to my koala. I'm going off feast. I wonder what a koala with wings is. A bat? Maybe. I mean, it could be a bat. Bats are furry and they have wings. Koalas are furry and they don't have wings. So maybe bats and koalas are cousins. Maybe. Flying squirrels. Fly Flying yeah, squirrels, yeah. That's yes. probably the answer, isn't it? A flying yes. squirrel. Yes. That yeah. is probably the answer. Or a bat. Or a bat. Right, my koala's got a tree now. Oh. A tree? A tree. I've got to give my koala She's a tree. She's going rogue. <laughs> Your koala has got wings. <laughs> <laughs> I am not the one going rogue. <laughs> right, these eyes. Your, oh, yeah. your no, seat? I haven't done eyes yet. He's going to have tiny eyes. <laughs> and uh, tiny eyes, but really big eyebrows. Okay, I didn't think about eyebrows. It's to protect him from the wind okay. when he's flying. You've got a really good pen. I'll probably write <laughs> That's also a good point. If you're having a competition at home with someone, you can sabotage them by giving them a really bad pen. Really, really rubbish pen. Look. My rubbish. pen is good. <laughs> Her pen is bad. Who's going to be rubbish. the winner? I'm going to be the winner still. My para koala is going to be better. Right. We're almost done, and then you're going to need to write in the comments whose koala you think is best. Uh, he's going to have really furry ears as well. And a big belly button. And a big belly button. Because all koalas have a really big belly yeah. button. Has anyone ever seen a koala before when they've been to the zoo? I, can't, I don't know if I've ever seen one in real life. I don't life. think I've ever seen a real life one, no. No. I don't know how big they would be. As big as this table? Mm, I've as seen pictures of people big? holding them. Yeah. And they're like, I'm gonna hold them on their sides. Like baby size. Yeah, like a baby. Hmm. Like a toddler. Like a two-year-old. Right, are you ready? Right, yeah. This you... is what it was supposed to look like. Yeah. Right, James can show you the example and show you his. Here we go. This is the actual koala, which we made earlier. And Emily will show you hers first. You oh, will I? Okay. Tell us what you think. So this is my koala. I think it looks a lot like a koala and I added in his tree. Right, let's Very see good. your koala again. I think yours does look like a koala actually. Uh, here is my koala. <laughs> now let me talk you through it because there's lots of interesting features that my koala has. As we talked about at the beginning, he has two noses. 
for double the smell. He has another nose here. So in fact, he has three noses. He has tiny little eyes uh, because he doesn't really like to look where he's going when he's flying. He just likes to make it up as he goes along. But he's got big bushy eyebrows to protect him from the wind when he's flying. And obviously if you're a flying koala, you need huge big wings as well. And uh, just for fun, a massive belly button. So write in the comments who you think has made the best koala. I have made the best koala, <laughs> thank you. Mine is the best koala, looks like the koala. Right, let's have a look. I mean, maybe if you, if you weren't looking at koalas, but you were just looking at how artistic the person is, then I would probably win. Yes, but the challenge was koalas. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, guys? Who is the best koala? Personally, I think James looks like a bat. Yes, yes. James, this does look like a bat, you're right. I think mine does look like a bat too. A bat with really big eyebrows. Right, Deborah thinks yours is better. Thank you, Deborah. One point. <laughs> Bradley thinks yours looks like an anteater. Thank you, Bradley. It does. You're right. I would take that. Anteaters no are cool. No one says it's a bat. Yeah. Some people are saying they're both the best. They're not. Mine's the best. Uh, I think we have both done well. I think, yeah, I think we have both done really well. But I am going to hold mine up even more so people can yeah, see it because um, it's so I'm good. Just gonna, I'm just going to throw mine in front of you. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, if you want to make koalas at home, all you need is a newspaper, some scissors, a glue stick, a pen, and some card to stick it on. Okay? Easy peasy. So we would love to see your koalas slash anteaters or slash anteater bats, bats slash pigs. whatever you fancy. Have a go at home and send us in some pictures at the school office. Okay, oh, I'm gonna get rid of the table and then it's time to say goodbye. Oh, that's I gone know. so quickly today. Okay. Thank you everyone for coming to see yeah. our assembly today. It's been really good fun. Good to have you. Right, you're gonna start stamping those feet. Ready for the goodbye song? Heidi, 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 ho. Heidi, 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 ho. Willy, 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 wo. Willy, 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 wo. I don't know what I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. Brookfield is as good as gold. Brookfield is as good as gold. Or am I wrong? Sound off. Sound off. Brookfields. Brookfields. Once again. Once again. Hip hip hooray. Hip hip hooray.